Have you ever wondered what's inside your computer? Let's start with the heart of your computer, the central processing unit or CPU. This little piece of technology is essentially the brain of your computer. It's responsible for handling most calculations and commands that run on your computer. Imagine the CPU as a very efficient office worker, swiftly shuffling through paperwork, making sense of all the data and instructions that come its way. The speed at which it does this is measured in GHE and the faster it is, the smoother your computer will run. Now let's talk about cores. Picture these as additional office workers. A single core processor is like having one worker, while a multi-core processor is like having a team of workers. More workers, or cores, mean more tasks can be completed simultaneously, making your computer more efficient. Think of the CPU as the brain of your computer, making all the important decisions. Now, if the CPU is the brain, then the RAM is the computer's short-term memory. This is where the magic of multitasking happens. The random access memory, or RAM, temporarily stores all the data your CPU may need in the short term. It's like a workspace for your CPU, providing it with quick access to the data it needs to run your apps and execute your commands. Imagine you're a chef in a kitchen. Your RAM is like your countertop, where you can keep all the ingredients you're currently working with. The larger the countertop, the more dishes you can prepare simultaneously. Similarly, the more RAM your computer has, measured in gigabytes, the more tasks it can handle at once. One of the beautiful things about RAM is that it's upgradable in both desktops and laptops. This means you can always expand your workspace as your multitasking needs grow. So, the more RAM your computer has, the more tasks it can handle at once without slowing down. But where does all your data go when you're not using it? That's where the hard drive comes in. Imagine your computer as a massive library, and the hard drive is the bookshelf storing all the books. It's your computer's long-term storage solution, holding on to everything from your operating system to your favorite cat videos. Now there are two main types of hard drives, hard disk drives, or HDDs, and solid state drives, or SSDs. HDDs are like a record player, with data stored on spinning disks read by a moving arm. They're usually larger and cheaper, but slower. SSDs, on the other hand, have no moving parts, they store data on flash memory chips and are faster but more expensive. The type of hard drive you choose affects your computer's speed and storage capacity. If you're after speed, go for an SSD. If you need lots of storage at a lower cost, an HDD is your best bet. So, whether it's an HDD or an SSD, your hard drive is where all your data calls home. Finally, let's talk about the hardware that lets you see everything, the graphics card. This piece of hardware, also known as the Graphics Processing Unit or GPU, is like the eyes of your computer. It's responsible for rendering the images and videos you see on your screen. Think of it like this. If your computer was an artist, the GPU would be its paintbrush. It brings the digital world to life, creating the colors, shapes, and movements that form the images on your screen. For those who play video games or do professional design work, a more powerful GPU can make a world of difference. It can handle more detailed graphics and smoother animations, making your experience more immersive and enjoyable. But even if you're not a gamer or a designer, a good GPU still matters. It can make everyday tasks like browsing the web or watching videos a lot smoother. Remember, a good GPU means better visuals, whether you're gaming, designing, or just browsing the web. So, now you know the basics of what's inside your computer. The central processing unit, or CPU, is the heart, pumping data through your system. The random access memory, or RAM, keeps your files on standby for quick access. Your hard drive is the long-term memory, storing all your files and programs. The graphics processing unit, or GPU, is the eyes, rendering images for your screen. All of these components work together to make your computer run. Next time you're buying a computer or upgrading your current one, you'll know exactly what to look for.